So in uh, 2022, uh, based on all the recent advances, I would say that the treatment paradigm looks like this. If a patient is presenting with metastatic disease and is able to get cisplatin, we should offer cisplatin-based chemotherapy. If not, we should offer carbo uh, and gemcitabine-based uh, chemotherapy. If they progress on any of these regimens, there are several immunotherapy agents approved. Pembrolizumab is the preferred choice based on phase three trials. If the patients have FGFR alterations, they can also get targeted therapy with adafitinib. If the patients do not progress, then Avalumab maintenance is the current standard of care based on the Javelin Bladder 100 trial. And upon further progression, there are several options like antibody drug conjugates, uh, namely Enfortimab Bindontin and Sakituzumab Govotecan or Adafitinib if they've not had it before. As I just mentioned, the platinum ineligible patients are really a minority of our practice. And those are the patients where it's totally justified to use pembrolizumab or atezolizumab single agent. And then if they progress, they can get any of the other therapies. And I want to highlight here that PDL1 is not a reliable biomarker. It does not help us guide treatment options uh, in real time. And there's a lot of work going on in um, using biomarkers in addition to clinical criteria for determining what treatment we should offer patients. Thank you.